Welcome back to my lore series about Aspects of More and my anthology series coming out in the near future. Uh, we're talking about the character that stars in the short story that takes place after the events of the main story revolving around Akira Kazal and her little troop. Um, we're talking about Snow Song. And Snow Song, mm, uh, let's get to it, shall we? Uh, she's a Frost Ifrit bard. She's somewhat related to the main story, but doesn't take part in it. You'll find out that out at the. It, it, don't skip the snow song because it spoils part of the main story. You'll spoil part of the main story if you do. Um, she uh, is basically the courier for the Northern Way. She delivers mail and supplies to those that dwell upon the area and. Um, she's well known by pretty much everybody. She has a pretty calm demeanor most of the time and <laughs> loves the thrill of the climb. Remember that climb I was telling you about that goes pretty steep up the cliff to the tavern? Ah, yeah, she does that pretty much once a week. Uh, she doesn't use any instruments for being a bard. She sings, hums, and even whistles her bardic magic to life. Uh, she's even been known to snap her fingers to do it but that's a very rare occasion um, she uses her magic to charm animal and monsters in the northern way so they tempers are leveled off and there's no bloodshed or fighting and whatnot um, she does mainly use her bardic magic to enhance her frost abilities the climb that i mentioned that she does she uses that to uh, solidify ice around her hands as she climbs so she doesn't lose her grip sometimes. It's actually kind of cool. Um, uh, her story, it, it's, it's brief. Um, it involves uh, another heroic, which I'm not going to mention here because that also spoils part of it. Um, I'm not even going to get over the villain here. I will at a later date after the book is out uh, because oh man the villain here is there are villains that have been locked away not necessarily on a prison planet because they didn't think a prison planet would hold them so they've been locked away with stronger means and this is one of those villains that you'll see here uh, she, she's powerful um one of the cute things about Snow Song is her pet. Now you see a theme. There's a not all of my characters have pets, but there's a theme throughout this book that pets are here. Same with the animal totems; they show up in quite a bit here. Uh, her pet is a puff. I know what you're thinking. Um, named Crit. No, it's not a dog. We'll get to Crit in a minute. And why Crit's Crit? Why the name Crit? It fits so perfectly with this little guy. Um, they're constant. That's a constant companion. Uh, if she's doing the climb, Crit rests in her backpack. Has a little carrier in the back, kind of like a cat carrier, but for a puff. It's not that big of a, a creature, but we'll get to Crit in the next video. But yeah, that's Snow Song in a pinch. I. I, I I needed to create something outside of the main story to blend into, and she's this is the character that's it's made the idea of why don't I do multiple stories in one book? So there's a long story, a short story, and an even shorter story uh, in each book that evolves around different characters, but all loosely attached to the same thing. That being said, I'll see you guys all in the near future, and thank you for listening.